Hello again. All too often lately I come across items of news which look as though they might have been devised by a satirist. In the English city of Cambridge there is, in addition to the famous university, a museum of classical archaeology which contains many plaster of Paris casts of Roman and Greek statues. They are of course all white, the same colour as the white marble from which the originals were sculpted. In ancient times uh, they would have been painted in bright colours but all the paint has worn off over the years leaving them white. Even if they were to be repainted in the original colours, um, that's something which has been done by the way on some monuments in a few London churches. They've been repainted in realistic bright colours, which is quite eye-catching. Even if this were to be done to um, classical statues, the people portrayed would still all be white, because they were from Rome and Athens. The Classics Faculty, which runs the museum, says that new information panels about the role of classical sculptures in the history of racism are being prepared so that visitors will not be too shocked and confused at the sight of so much whiteness. All this follows a letter which was sent to the chair of the Classics Faculty last summer which was signed by quite a few students and demanded an acknowledgement of the existence of systemic racism within classics. Yeah, all those white Romans and Greeks, you know, and not an African or Indian in sight. Anybody find mention of black people in Plato? No. What about Cicero, Julius Caesar? They mention colonialism? Even Socrates had nothing much to say about issues of ethnicity. You can see there's plenty of work to be done here and warning visitors to a museum that classical statues are all white is certainly a start. I give a link in the description to this video to a newspaper article about this, lest anybody imagine that I invented it. This might sound raving mad, as indeed it is, but this anxiety about the whiteness of old statues has been going on in the United States for at least four or five years. Expressing admiration for the Roman Empire or ancient Greek nations in America can, in some circles, lay one open to a charge of belonging to the alt-right, some of whom see Sparta and Athens as the font of Western civilization and, by extension, white culture. The catchily titled um, Not All Dead White Men, Classics and Misogyny in the Digital Age, by Donna Zuckerberg, published by the Harvard University Press, by the way, has this to say, the use of classical imagery to promote a white nationalist agenda is far from an isolated occurrence. Now you know. Even apparently innocuous speculation surrounding the Greek custom of painting their statues in vivid colours can be interpreted in terms of white supremacy. An article in an online magazine went into detail about how the impression of whiteness gained from looking at white statues and marble temples could encourage a false impression of the past. The assemblage of neon whiteness serves to create a false idea of homogene homogeneity. Everyone was very white. And that at least is what Sarah Bond says in a piece entitled why we need to start seeing the classical world in colour. I give details of these two publications below. Cambridge University is not really a pioneer in this field. They're only playing to a well-established piece of foolishness with these plans for their pointless signs.